Triadent is happy to introduce the V3 sectional matrix system, the smarter way to create better class 2 composite restorations. This video demonstrates two typical cases and includes useful tips on the use of the system. Case 1, an MO using the V3 universal ring for molars. Before cutting the cavity, pre-wedge using the appropriate sized wave wedge. Turn the wedge on the back of your free hand to achieve the best placement position. Pre-wedging creates an excellent working area, depressing the gingival tissues and preventing bleeding. In most cases, once cavity prep is complete, you don't need to remove the wedge before placing the matrix. Press triadent pin tweezers at the back to open or to release an object, and at the front to grip. In their passive mechanical position, the tweezers will hold wedges and matrices securely. Hold the appropriate V3 matrix with the pin tweezers and bend the tab towards you, creating a contra angle that ensures easy matrix placement in an apical direction. Have the gold side of the tweezer tips, the side with the pin, facing away from the tooth. This way, the pin will not hook the tab when you release the tweezers. Slide the matrix between the wedge and the cavity. Alternatively, cut the prep first, then place the matrix, followed by the wedge. Trap the matrix with a finger on the lingual side to keep it steady when you release the pin tweezers. Ensure the V3 matrix band is at the right height to get maximum benefit from its anatomical features, including the rolled marginal ridge and S-shaped proximal contour. Use a finger to trap the matrix tab against the adjacent tooth to stop the matrix slipping while you place the wedge. The wings on the wave wedge compress as they pass between the teeth, then expand again to fill the embrasure on the lingual side. The assistant passes the forceps with the V3 ring safely locked in. Do not overexpand the V3 spring. Carefully and without rushing, place the V3 ring. Press down with a finger on the matrix tab while removing the forceps. This prevents movement and keeps the ring down. Make sure the ring is fully seated, in direct contact with the wedge as shown, with the ring tines behind the matrix and straddling the wedge. If necessary, you can place a second wedge from the other side without having to start over, thanks to the hollow underside of the triodent wedges, which makes them easily snackable. Use the ball tips of the pin tweezers to burnish the contact point. Acid etch the cavity in the usual way. Wash and dry the cavity. The final increment of composite is placed and cured. Remove the V3 ring with the forceps. Remove the wave wedge with the pin tweezers. Using a probe just below the contact point, break the bond between the matrix and the composite. This will make matrix removal simple, even with a tight contact. Grip one of the matrix wing holes with the pin tweezers and peel the matrix away from the composite. Now wriggle the matrix free. The many qualities of the V3 system mean you'll have very little finishing to do. Case 2, a DO, using the V3 narrow ring for premolars and primary teeth. Bend the appropriate sized V3 matrix towards you, ensuring that the pin of the pin tweezers is facing away from the tooth to ensure easy release. Trap the matrix with a finger on the buccal side, then bend the tab over onto the adjacent tooth clear of the cavity. Trap the tab with your forefinger to prevent the matrix slipping while placing the wedge. Place the V3 ring carefully. It's advisable to hold the ring in place with a finger as you release the forceps. If the V3 ring shows signs of stretching at the aperture, it can be reset using the notches in the forceps. Simply put the ring in place and squeeze the forceps as if cracking a nut. To find out more about any of our products, call our friendly customer services team or visit our website, 
www.triodent.com.